Today we are going to install Agent DVR, which is a viewer and recorder for a wide variety of IP addressed cameras. This is available for Windows, Linux, it also installs on Docker. We'll get installed the Linux version. So we'll choose Linux and we'll download it. And it gives you different options, so we'll run these commands on the in the terminal. So we'll open up a terminal and first we'll install curl. So we're going to install curl. And the second option is a script. So you don't want to run a script just by, by copying and pasting. You want to make sure that you download that script first and take a look at it, which I already did. So we're just going to install it. And it's going to download and run the install. And then we want to run it as a system service. Well, that will do is use systemd to run it at system startup. So now that it's installed, and we can go to localhost port 8090. So we'll pull up the web browser and then we'll go to localhost and then port 8090. And it should pull up for us. And it'll pull up and it goes through a quick configuration. Yeah, that's all good. So we're going to hit the hamburger menu at the top left and we're going to go into settings. There's a bunch of different settings there, but we're going to just install a camera for now. So we're going to go to new device. And it gives you different options for a device, but we're going to use ONVIF. So we'll click on that. And then we'll give it a name. Oh, actually, we'll go through configuration. So we'll go through configuration settings first. It gives you different options. But we'll go in and we'll give the camera a name. And then ONVIF on the settings on the right, we'll click on that. And then we'll do the login. So we'll type in the login for the camera. Username and password. And then the URL for the camera. It should be HTTP and then the IP address. It's usually, usually what you need to access the camera. If you need to specify port, things like that, you would have to enter that in there. And get video URLs, and that'll list the URLs. And then there's advanced settings as well, if you want to go into advanced settings. But we'll just click on OK, and we'll get this camera up and running. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll click OK there so we can see the camera. So now we want to store our recordings. So we're going to restart just to make sure that it does run at startup. Once we reboot it, we'll open the browser. We'll go back to port 8090 on localhost. And it is running. OK, so now we'll add storage for our recordings. We're just going to use a local storage for this test, but I do have a SAM that it records to, so I can have a lot more, a lot more uh, recordings. So we'll just use the media folder here for a test. So we'll go to the hamburger, edit device, then we'll edit the camera. And we'll go to general, drop down and go to storage. But the folder is not there, so we need to actually add it to the system. So we'll back out of this, we'll back out, and we'll go to settings, and then we'll do the drop down, and we'll go to storage, and then configure. We want to configure storage location, and then add, and slash media. That is where we had the folder. And there's different options here. You can do the max size, max age, your archive options. But we'll just click OK here and then click OK. So now we can go back to our camera. We'll go to edit device, edit the camera. Go to general, drop down to storage. Choose the folder. Perfect. That was an error from previous. So we'll just click OK and OK. And there's a bunch of different options, like I said, for settings. And then this is the paid option. It gives you different features like HD, HD playback and um, remote access. And then if we go to recordings, I did a manual recording just so we could see it. But it gives you different options at the bottom to delete. Or you can edit, 
you can download, you can take a photo, upload, a bunch of different options that are very useful. But we'll just back out of this for now. We'll go back to the live feed. And that's it. Pretty simple. There are a lot of options that you can set. You can set motion detection, so it'll only record on motion detection, things like that. But pretty simple and straightforward, and it's free. And uh, it's worth it. I use it. So give it a try. Until the next one. Please leave a comment or if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.